1992 Calder Cup, 92-93, as it's whistled down a glove pass, and that'll give the fans a chance. No, it's not, I can't even hear myself here. Half a minute to go now, the celebration has begun as the fans at center 200, after five years, a lot of torture, but this makes up for it, no question about it. And we're winding it down, 15 seconds to go. Mark LaForge has it behind his own goal. He'll send it up on the left side to the captain, Dan Curry, he dumps it to center ice. And here we go, folks. The Cape Breton Oilers, the 1992 Calder Cup champions, defeating the Rochester Americans tonight, seven to two. They win the Calder Cup in five games. We'll let the games begin, the celebration begins. And I should remind everyone listening out there, the Calder Cup parade will be held tomorrow night, beginning at the north end of George Street. The Goilers will take the Calder Cup down Charlotte Street, up to Dorchester, down the Esplanade, through Townsend, at Sheriff and Princeton, and back here for a rally at 6.30. But we'll tell you a little bit about that tomorrow. A mob scene behind the order goal. And the fans are coming onto the ice. And John, what more can we say? Outstanding, the Oilers are the Calder Cup champions, 92-93. And if you really want it summed up, Paul, every guy that was not in the lineup tonight, from Craig Fisher to Richard Borgo, they all had their Oilers sweaters on. And when the final bell rang, they went over the boards and they jumped into the crowd. There's not one guy, the Scott Allisons, they were all there. They were all part of it. They played a big part the whole season, and it's just an absolutely phenomenal year. And what a way to celebrate your fifth anniversary. A second to none, believe me. And let's not take anything away from Rochester. They played hard. They played well throughout this entire series. They just didn't have the horses, and they just didn't have the power to cope with the strong Cape Breton Oilers. Okay, we're going to go downstairs now to our own Roy Mercer. And Roy, what's the mood like down there? Well, I'm on ice over at center ice, and, and I look at George Burnett's having a tough time to rally the troops. They're still celebrating down the corner to come and shake hands with the uh, Rochester Americans. And if you can hear, come and bring out the Calder Cup. If you stay with me, Paul, and follow me along for just a moment, I'll get George Burnett when he's through shaking hands. Okay, Roy, we will, and the Calder Cup is making its way to center ice. Jack Butterfield, the league president, is bringing it out. And I'm sure the MVP of this series will be, or the playoffs will be Bill McDougall. And we're going to Roy now with uh, George Burnett down at center ice level. And coach, how do you feel now after five years for the Cape Breton Oilers, your first year as a pro? This is unbelievably nice. The uh, feeling doesn't get any better than this, Roy. This is, uh, if we had a thought we were gonna have a chance at this is the start of year, we would have been really excited, but I'm, I'm really happy for the people that are here tonight who've, uh, Followed the club for five strong years, and for the guys like Sean and Danny who have been here, David Haas have been here for five years. It's a credit to them, and we had a great year. Really pleased. We always say that hockey is a game of peaks and valley, and this team certainly had the peaks and the valley this year. Well, it was a peak in the playoffs. It was a great, great feeling, and uh, we're really excited about it. We're going to enjoy this one. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Man. There you have Coach George Burnett now. Paul, I'll be walking around trying to get some interviews for you. Go ahead. Thank you very much, Roy. And the Calder Cup is now at center ice. <laughs> And I think it is fitting that Dave Andrews and uh, Sean Van Allen just embraced. <laughs> They've gone through a lot here for five years. And uh, Bill McDougall, I'm sure, will be the playoff MVP. The fans are coming onto the ice. And we're just going to wait for Dan Curry to pick up the Calder Cup trophy as we're trying to follow Roy. It is his mayhem here at Center 200. Well, you know, you know Paul, uh, General managers are made for trades, and we mentioned this earlier in the last few games back. Can you just imagine now, Dave is down on the ice, he's embracing everybody, but let's think about that Bill McDougall and then Mac. So we're with Roy now, and Roy is trying to get into the pile there maybe, and uh, we'll wait to see. <laughs> and there it is, Bill McDougall is the MVP of the Calder Cup and the American Hockey League playoffs this year, and deservedly so. What else can we say? 26 goals, 25 assists, 51 points, and he was just phenomenal. <clears throat> Wayne Cowley should get some consideration, but really it was Bill McDougall right really? from the outset. Well, you know, you, 
You, you, you mentioned Wayne Cowley. I mean, when you go back to the Fredericton series and the St. John series, Wayne Cowley really came to the forefront. But even with Wayne playing that well, and we're just trying to get Roy now with the MVP and Bill McDougall. Billy, congratulations. How does uh, it feel? Oh, this is great. Uh, uh, but like I kept on saying, everybody played well through the whole playoffs, and I don't think there was any doubt in our mind that we were going to win tonight, and it's great. And this is what we worked by, you know, most of these guys four or five years for, and it's great for the fans here. It's just unbelievable. I can't explain it. I'm going to scream right now or cry. I don't know. <laughs> You've been very polite throughout this playoffs, and we're talking about the fans, but the fans are taking this. Oh, it's great. Look at them. They're all still here, and they're going crazy. And hopefully, we can uh, all share a drink out of that cup with them tonight. All right. Thank you. Thank you. There's Bill McDougal. Let's go upstairs. Thank you very much, Roy and uh, Jack Butterfield, the league president, if we can only hear him down there, and the roar of this crowd. Another guy down the ice, Brian Kern, could not play. He played game one, broke his hand, and he was a big party. He played very well in these playoffs, and uh, he's sharing it now, and the fans are getting down on the ice. And now Dan Curry is just about ready to come out, and, excuse me, and pick up the Calder Cup, and here he is, and he asked the rest of the team to come with him. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Calder Cup resides in Sydney and the Cape Breton Oilers now will parade it around center ice and through the crowd here as Dan Curry hands it over to Sean Van Allen as the team parades it around the ice John it uh, nothing doesn't, doesn't get much better than this well, Paul, I, you know what? I'm almost speechless here. Uh, you know, I feel like crying to a degree. It's sort of a sweet revenge for me, too, because the last time I was in it was a Rochester to knock us off in the seventh round. Okay, we're going downstairs now to Roy Mercer once again as uh, he'll probably catch up with the Oiler General Manager David Andrews, and I think that's uh, just what he's doing right now. David, let me ask you. Tell me. You've been here. I never thought this would ever happen. This is unbelievable. It's the best. people here. Unbelievable. Larry Floyd started it, and we're well, not two to finish it. This is the best, Very good. The absolute best I've ever felt in hockey. These guys are unbelievable. We've had some peaks and valleys, as I mentioned before, but this is probably the highest peak so far. This is the highest peak ever. Those guys have uh, so much pressure on them tonight to win it at home, and they really wanted to do it, and the crowd is so great. And uh, what can you say? It's a great team effort, and George Burnett's just unbelievable. They should put a statue of him in front of this place. Exactly. Congratulations. Thank you. There you have the general manager, Dave Andrews. I think he's ready to cry. special for them and the people that have supported this club for five years. You see the people out there at school, it's like that every night. And, uh, this is a real exciting time. We're going to enjoy this and uh, we're going to have some great time this summer again. We hear about Cooper. 